What you're looking at is a 1606 map of Ireland. It's Giovanni Bozio, if I got his surname correctly. And uh, it's a, just a very detailed map of Ireland. Uh, he's an Italian uh, cartographer. But what I want to show you, I just want to show you because I'm zooming into my own part of the country here in County Wexford. And um, just to show you that there was no County Wicklow, as I say, um, back then, Martin, this uh, this particular map. As you can see, here's County Wexford. This is where I grew up here myself, down here on the East Coast in a place called the Moors. The Moors was a was a Gaelic, uh, was a, a strand of the Kavanagh family. Um, and if you look carefully in the maps, what do you see? Mock the Moor. Mock Davy Moor, apparently it comes from. And the Moor name survives for a stretch of land from... Um, stretches from around Kilmuckridge all the way up to the Arklo banks. This is Arklo or Arklo in County uh, Wicklow now. As you can see it was in County Wexford back then and over time it was in County Carlow as well. But just to point out to you a few little bits and pieces here. So you've got Glasgow here, you've got the Blackwater banks here. You go straight into what is County Dublin and you can see the O'Burns and the O'Tools and the, uh, the, the, the Gaelic families or around here but Wicklow hasn't been formed um, but just to point out a few little things here uh, there's um, Crokin, Crokin Mountain here's another interesting game there's a name as well as the McWaddocks the McWaddocks is one of the principal Gaelic family names along the east coast of Wexford and that's that's almost gone now that surname is almost gone and that's Waddock now that if, any, if you've got a surname Waddock that's where that comes from Waddock is from there Ferns is there the ancient capital as you can see um, and over here is Clahamond here near, near Bunclody. You see the border there between Bunclody. That's the river, uh, Slaney. And crosses over here now, uh, I think that's Shalala. Um, some of the place names have changed as well. Uh, there's Clock, um, Arkle, as I can see to you there. Um, down here is a Murrah, uh, These are the, the Murphy's, the Murphy stronghold is all this part of the east, the east, again, the east part of Wexford. Morris Castle get his name. You see the name Sinnott there. Sinnott. That's in their surname, Sinnott. You got Ard Cavan, um, Ard Cavan is there. Kilpatrick, Ard Column is here. Um, and then you cross over into Wexford. You got it. What's lovely as well, you can see, you can see Bigger and Island here as well. Um, Ross Lair and Green Ore, Green Ore. Um, green ore banks, just green ore down near Ross Lair again. Um, and down along here, you can start to spot things like, I think this is, there's Rose Garland, uh, Bano, I think it could be Bano, Bano, Bano Bay. Down here, this is, ba yeah, Bano Bay here, Bano Bay over here. Over here, then towards the Hook Peninsula, uh, Bag and Bun, see the Bag and Bun is spelled, Bag and Bun, Clan Mines, Power Four. It's about four to four, the river crossing. And then all the way back up here to Ross. There's Ross and coming back up in northwest Wexford then as well. Up in towards, back up towards around the area around Rat, around Rat, Newar, Mount Leinster. See all these, Mount, this would be this was Mount Leinster. See our Black Stairs, Mount Leinster, all the way along here. So the map, the map is really interesting, I suppose, for, for us Wexford ones is really interesting. And for the likes of yourselves who are not from here, you can just zoom in and find out your, uh, zoom out and find your own area. And zoom in then and find your own. So you, as you can see, that the, the, there's a there are places from all over Ireland. But just from from our own point of view here, from from Wexford, here's a here's a here's Wexford, and then it was Dublin, and uh, no county Wicklow. Um, I'll show you our, uh, maps in a later stage as well, where you can see um, a county, a proposed county of ferns, which would have took in all the Gaelic areas here of North Wexford, uh, East Carlow, and set Wicklow in one form, new county. But that didn't happen in the end. Uh, basically, to use the mountains to to, to, to separate them to, to use as a natural divide and this part of Wexford just became all Wexford then as well so listen there you have it it's a lovely it's a lovely map I'm looking at this now on the libraryofcongress.gov over in the states so you go to libraryofcongress.gov type in this uh this name here and it'll pull up this map for you and the fantastic thing as well is actually the Library of Congress allow you to download this map for free you can download this map for free without a watermark which is incredible really when you think about it and it's great because we can make sense of these places now the people who actually live there can make sense of these places and i said the reason i'm showing it to you is because this name here mock more one of the gaelic names and and also uh just kin um uh, mac almost gone go, gone that name is almost gone and mock more just changed that just changed completely i think that became the gaelic redmonds the, it became uh like the, the, Red, the Redmonds of, of North Wexford became the name that they did to change their name from Mocktomore to Redmond. Very different than the Anglo Norman Redmonds down around here. So these are the, the Gaelic Redmonds of North Wexford. So listen, thanks a million for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.